Hello viewers, I'm still Mr. Adebanjo and uh, I want to strongly welcome you to today's teaching on Polygon. In our last video, we talked about uh, Polygon, the definition of Polygon, how we could identify Polygon, the different types of Polygon that we have with their size. And we also talk about uh, the interior angles and exterior angle of, poly of, a, of polygon. How we can identify the interior angles and the exterior angle of polygon, and what constitutes the what make up the what's it called the angles of a polygon. So if you have not watched the video, please go back and watch that video before you watch the video, so that you can understand how what you are going to do in this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about some theorems that we have and uh, in, on, in polygon. Like we have two theorems in polygon, which every student must know, and they how to use the theorems accurately to solve problems. Now, if you if you look at the last video, we, I told you that uh, we have interior angles in a polygon, and it is the number of the size that the polygon has that will determine the number of angle it's going to have. So. Now, I told you how you can identify interior angle. Interior angle is talking about the angle inside that polygon now. So whether it is uh, for triangle, we have three angles in that tri inside triangle. For collateral, we have four angles in that collateral, and, uh, and so on. Now, the first theorem is talking about the sum of these, sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon. Sum of the interior angles. That is, you are adding all those angles together. When you add it together, what is it going to give us? That's what we are talking about here now. When you add those interior angles together, for an example now, for a triangle now, when I add all the three angles in the triangle together, what is it going to give me? That's what this theorem is talking about. How we can find it. Are you there with me now? How we can find the sum of the interior angles of any polygon. It's possible once you know the number of sides that polygon has, you can find the sum of the interior of, of a polygon by using this formula we're having on the on the screen right now. The sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is you, you can calculate by using this formula 2n minus 4 multiplied by what 90 degrees, where your hand is talking about the number of sides as that polygon. The number of sides as that polygon. So if it, if you are talking about a triangle now, then your hand is going to be three, then you have Two times three, that is six minus four. That will give us two. Two times ninety, that will give us one eighty degrees. You can see that any, of course, some of some of angle in a triangle is one eighty degrees. But this formula can help us to sum all the angles, some of the interior angles in a, any polygons together. So my 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 advice is that you memorize, you know this that uh, anytime I want to sum the angles, the interior angles of a polygons together, I need two hand minus four multiplied by what ninety. So that will give me the sum of any polygon, or sum of any uh, sum of the interior angle of any polygon, and where your hand is the number of sides has the polygon. Then, if this formula is for finding the sum of the interior angles of that polygon, then how can we find one angle of that polygon, or how can we find each angles in that polygon? I will come again. If this is the formula of summing all the interior angles together. Then how can we now find each angle in that polygon, in the, uh, each interior angle in that polygon, or of that polygon? For an instance, now if I say that I I purchase uh, five uh, sheets for twenty naira, then it's possible for me to calculate the amount of one sheet by dividing the amount I bought the five sheets divided by the number of sheets I bought. So that will give me. Uh, the number of the amount divided by the number of shares I, I bought that will give me the cost of one share. The same thing here, if I know that this is sum, it is the formula for finding the sum of all the interior angles together in a regular polygon. That means to get one angle or to get each angle in that regular in that polygon, what do I do? I will divide everything I get here by the number of sides that polygon has. And now we are having that each interior angle of a regular polygon is given by this formula 2n minus 4 multiplied by 90 degrees divided by number of side which is n so that will give us each each value of interior angle of any polygon for an instance now if you say your polygon is a triangle that means three side that we have six minus four that give us two times nine uh, 90 that give us 180 then 180 now divided by three that will give me one angle each, each interior angle of that 
polygon, which is 1 divided by 3, that gives us uh, 60. So that means each angle in that regular polygon in the world is 60 degrees each. So don't forget these two formula. If you are summing the angles together, all the interior angles together, you need 2m minus 4 divided by 90. And if you are looking for each interior angle now, you need this formula. Also, you can you have used that uh, those this two formula we have here for sum th this formula you have here for sum of interior angle we have used it to calculate sum of the polygon we have here. You can see we have the name of the polygon, the number of sides the polygon has, then the sum of interior angles, and then uh, the value of the sum of the interior angles here. For triangle we have two m minus four multiplied by ninety is equals to your n is what three. So that we have two times three minus four, and that will that should give us six. Then times uh, 90, that gives us 180 degrees. That means the sum of interior angle in a triangle is what? 180 degrees. Then for quadrilateral, put your 4 here as your hand. That means you have 2 times 4 minus 4. That gives us 2 times 4 is 8 minus 4. That gives us 4. 4 times 90, that gives us 360 degrees. So sum of interior angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Uh, for square, sum of angle in a square is 360. For rectangle, the same thing, 360. For parallelogram, 360. Any quadrilateral you can think of, sum of interior angles of, that collat of the collateral is what, 360 degrees. For pentagon as well, which has how many sides? Five sides. You put your five here, then you have two times five minus four, and that will give us two times five is 10 minus four, that will give us six. Six times 90, that will give us 540 degrees. So that means sum of the interior angle in the pentagon is 540. Then you can do that for hexagon with number uh, of sides to be 6. Then that means you have 2 times 6 minus 4. That will give us 12 minus 4. That will give us uh, 8. 8 times 90. That will give us 720 degrees. Then do for heptagon the same process. Do for octagon the same process. Then do for nonagon the same process. Decagon the same process. And any other type of uh, polygon that you have. This is how you can find the sum of the interior angles. The sum of the interior angles of that what? Uh, uh, polygon you can think of. So if you want to know the each value, the each angles of the interior angle of this polygon, you can just for this one I can divide by number of sides which is three that give us uh, 60 degrees. For this one I can divide by uh, uh, four which is number of sides here. That will be out 36 divided by four that give us 90 degrees. Or each, each angle, each, each interior angle of a quadrilateral. You can do it for the rest as well. You know the the value of each. each interior angle of that polygon you are talking about so then that's for some of the interior angle of a polygon let's talk about some of exterior angles of a polygon now don't forget that exterior angle is talking about uh, the angle outside the polygon now and don't forget that uh, it is see the side the number of side that polygon as would that would define the number of exterior angle the polygon will have but the sum of if you can see in the in the Sum of interior, the sum of interior angle of polygons differs. 180, 360s, 540, 720 differs. They don't have the same uh, sum of interior angles. But when it comes to sum of interior angle, sum of the exterior angle rather, sum of the exterior angle of a regular polygon, there is one value to it, which is what 360 degrees. So no matter how, no matter the polygon. The sum of all the exterior angle of that polygon is what well, is 360 degrees. Don't forget, it's very important. Whether it's the decagon, whether it's nonagon, octagon, tri triangle, the sum of the exterior angle is what is 360 degrees. Don't forget that it's very, very important. So, and if some of the exterior angle of any polygon is 360 degrees, then how can we find each exterior angle of that of uh, of the polygon? Is by dividing the number, the sum of the the sum of the exterior angle, which is 360, by the number of what size as that polygon. So that will give us 360 minus, divided by what our n, which is the number of size the polygon has. So this is the uh, the formula for finding the sum of the exterior angle of the polygon. It is important you understand this uh, that sum of the exterior angle of the polygon is 360 degrees, and to find each exterior angle is 360 divided by n. And also that uh, the sum of interior angle of a regular polygon is 2m minus 4 multiplied by 90. Then that to find each interior angle of a regular polygon, you divide this one by number of what uh, size of that polygon. So it is uh, very, very important you we understand what you are, uh, this, this uh, four formulas for, that we have on, uh, in the, for the 
we have in the uh, for the theorems in the polygons, it's important we understand that we memorize it so that we can use it at any point in time. So in the next video we're talking about, we'll be talking about how we can use those formulas, those theorems to solve problems. And uh, if you have not subscribed to our uh, YouTube channel, please do that. Please uh, like the video, comment on it, share the videos with your colleagues, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.